Keyword research is an important part of any content strategy, and the same goes for video. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at some of my favorite keyword research tools, some new tools to the marketplace, and if you stick around, a strategy you can use right away to increase the rank of your videos. I'll be using this silly video of my dog as an example for this tutorial. I don't expect it to rank well, but let's see if there are any opportunities. A fast and easy way to get started is to jump right into the search bar on YouTube, type in some searches, and look at the suggested terms for ideas. To do this a bit faster, I recommend using Uber Suggest. Uh, it doesn't look pretty, but if you enter a keyword up top, you'll see all the suggested searches across the entire alphabet below. Click the plus sign next to the keywords that interest you, and you can easily copy and paste your findings later. Once I have some general keyword ideas, I like to head over to AdWords Keyword Tool, or Keyword Planner. Just log into your AdWords account and select Keyword Planner under the Tools menu. Type or paste any keywords you're interested in and click Get Ideas. You have to click over to the Keyword Ideas tab and you can see the monthly search volumes for the words you entered as well as some additional keyword ideas. I like to go through and click the Add to Plan button on the keywords I like. This will let me easily copy and paste or download the list of keywords when I'm done. Google Trends is great for, well, trends and seasonality of keywords. Here we see that we've been going through a bit of a funny dog videos resurgence. Searches were way up in 2006 and then tanked for years. Could the 2006 release of Tim Allen's Shaggy Dog be the culprit? I like to think so. Sometimes you'll also spot some good keyword ideas in the top and rising section. If I'm starting with a very broad or competitive keyword, I use Market Samurai to find the long tail opportunities. They have keyword research tools to expand and filter a list of keyword ideas and then bulk analyze them based on rules you define. I just created a list of 700 plus keywords and whittled it down to 30 that have high SEO value and low title and link competition. I can then take these keywords and see how they perform on YouTube. Now, Google shut down the YouTube keyword tool a while ago with little to no backlash because it wasn't that great. I've been using a new tool called Video Sense that I really like. When you add a keyword to a campaign, you instantly see highly correlated keywords in YouTube search results, plus the monthly and weekly search volume for that keyword on YouTube, the channels that are ranking, the videos that are ranking, and the metrics for those same videos. So it looks like video rank number 12 has a low view count, no likes, and was uploaded a few days ago. So this keyword is totally doable. VideoSense also lets you copy any video's title, description, or tags. This is great for research, but never just copy the same tags as another video and use them outright. That's a spammy tactic that YouTube is already on the look for. Another way to gather competitive intelligence and view tags is installing the vidIQ Vision plugin for Google Chrome. It'll automatically show the tags and additional information of any video you watch on YouTube. The basic plugin is free, but you can upgrade to the pro level for additional features and keyword research data. No matter where you get your keyword research data, it's important to gather your findings in one place. I use my YouTube upload checklist for the video I'm optimizing and create new spreadsheets for any new video ideas I might get while I'm researching. You can use my sheet if you'd like by clicking here. Which brings us to our super effective, super free keyword strategy. Check back. One month after you upload a video, check back and see if the keywords you chose are working or not. In YouTube Analytics, you can see exactly what keywords are driving new viewers to a video. Are they the keywords you chose to optimize for? If so, that's awesome. But are there other keywords driving views you didn't optimize for? There may be opportunities to add those keywords into your video's title, description, and tags, uh, and you may be able to increase your rank and viewership by leaning into what's already working. So there you have it. If you have any questions about keyword research, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, we put a couple of other tutorials for you and a button you can click to become a VidiSEO subscriber. We put out new tutorials every week and we'd love to have you as part of the community. Oh, look at that. I just got a new email subscriber. Uh, you can become an email subscriber as well at vidiSEO.com slash subscribe.